All right, listen, Brittany says these are incredible. I got to agree with her. Anything that's Betsy Ann, because of course it's Pittsburgh. And you can find it at Coons Market just in time for the Easter season. Love those folks at Betsy Ann's Chocolates. And I love Noel House, who's helping me produce today, but he's also a sports guru. Let's talk about the Pirates. Well, folks, spring training's been a little tough, but it is just spring training, right? Absolutely. You know, it's not about wins and losses in spring training. It's about developing your game, uh, veterans getting the rust off, young guys like Austin Meadows showing promise, hitting the ball, uh, learning new positions possibly like Osuna. They're working him at third. Just kind of finding your rhythm as a team as you enter the regular season next month. Penguins had a little firepower the other night, huh? Yeah, uh, they need they need a goalie. Uh, you know, they have some young goalies, and you're, you're going to have nights where you're a little bit off. And to say they were a little off last night would be a <laughs> bit of an understatement. Eight goals, but DeSmith, uh, Jari, they'll they'll get it together. Murray will come back. They'll be fine. They season. dealt with a lot of firepower from Boston last night, but they will get it together. But you got to give Evgeny Malcolm a whole lot of credit because literally through it all, even with a team that's expected to be there and maybe. Well, win again, their third consecutive Stanley Cup. He just continues to outshine everyone. Right? Absolutely. And uh, the big three for the Penguins, Crosby, Malkin, and Kessel, they're all playing well right now. I think uh, that's what you want when you see your team getting hot down the stretch. That's what they showed the last two years. And I think the last two years, hockey season ended pretty well here in the Silk City. Hit basketball wrapped up a regular season, Notre Dame with a loss. Young basketball team. What do you think of the future of Kevin Stallings and the University of Pittsburgh Panther basketball? Uh, you know, I don't think there's going to be much of a future to speak of. Um, if they do give him another chance, I think next year he will be coaching for his job. He's going to maybe get one more year to uh, develop this group that he brought in. He really had to start over from scratch, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how much patience the Pitt Athletic. Uh, department has with you. Last thing, and by the way, all of this stuff we discussed with Greg Dioulis and I, Bob Dvorak is off, Ted Arnaud will drop by, Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday Show at 11. What do you think about the NFL Combine? Um, I, you know, I'm not a huge believer in the Combine. I don't think someone getting 29 reps on a bench as opposed to 25 is the difference maker. I think you know who's a good football player who's not. I think it gives certain guys an opportunity to stand out where they might not have gotten the exposure at a big school, but overall I think, you know, it's just a chance for guys to maybe get a little bit more but it's not a big thing for me young man also works at my hometown paper the beaver county times coming up more of the mike pinjack show today coons market fabulous fish fry friday why we're here throughout the lenten season those incredible haddock sandwiches and remember how do you find the one nearest you you click on coonsmarket.com rock proud for mike pinjack who's radio 1020 kdk radio good afternoon